don't tell me that anymore. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna try to do better and you're gonna be my witness. <laughs> okay, get ready with me. And I just got out of the shower. I'm going out tonight to meet some friends. And I'm just cleaning everything. So here goes my uh, lotion, my face lotion. And uh, next comes, I have a little fan going on over here. So I'm hoping that is gonna not be too noisy. Not sure what the, how uh, great the light is on me right now, but I don't care because it's all about the makeup application. Okay, I'm, I'm really at the end of this, but it is the Lancome La Base. And I'm going to put it all around my eyes in particular as a good primer for my eyeshadow. Get a little bit more. You gotta use it up to the very bitter end. It's expensive. So I um had I read all your uh, comments I think I have replied to most of them from my last video. And you guys were just <laughs> too cute. <laughs> Cindy, you, your, you, your makeup application is a hot mess. <laughs> it is. I hear you. It is. Because I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just putting my makeup on. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on. I used this the other day and I liked it. I just I rediscovered it. I'm, I've got my appointment to get that checked out. The uh, 28th, I think. And, okay, I'm gonna buff that in with this brush. I am gonna wet it. And then I am going to dry it a little bit with my little makeup washcloth. Okay, so I have had a lot of questions asked about my dinner. It was a tough conversation. And basically what happened was I went out to dinner with someone, a friend of mine, and they were sharing their situation and I was sad because I knew I couldn't fix it for them and I wanted to so I left feeling disheartened and that's why I stopped off at, Ra at Ross because Ross was like right on the way home naturally and this so it wasn't that's all it was that I went out to dinner with a friend. We talked, she shared, and I can't fix it for her. That's still showing and that's okay. Next is my Estee Lauder. By the way, I'm still looking for a job. I'm kind of going for, even though I, I have that comfort keeper's job, I'm kind of going for a hostess job at a nice restaurant a couple nights a week because they're all pretty much part-time. So we'll see. I've had trouble getting my resume into a PDF file and go figure. But I finally did it. So my, my um, resumes are being accepted. Like I said, my daughter reminded me that teaching is all done on, on computers now and through electronic blah, blah, blahs. So she said, Mom, I don't think you could do, I don't think you could substitute teach. You're too old. 
So she could be right. But I still might investigate that. We'll see. If I can make more money on YouTube, you guys, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you have, if you are watching, please try to watch through the whole video. Okay, I'm gonna do, I put my um, foundation on. Now I'm gonna do this bronzer, Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. So tonight we're going up to the clubhouse. There are a couple friends that I have not seen in a while. So we're meeting to touch base. One of them had COVID, got COVID so badly. In fact, she was on an oxygen machine even when she came home. And you remember her, my friend Jill, from videos I've had. She was in the hospital for like three weeks. It's very serious. I was worried about it. Put her on my prayer chain. And anyway, she's home. Thank goodness. Thank you, Lord. And okay, this is not this is not working for me. <laughs> let me let me do it this way. Let me do it this way. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. After I get my makeup on, I'm gonna turn the camera off and fix my hair and get dressed and show you the final final product. It's like this. I was watching Melissa 55 and, and she was talking about her Velcro curlers and how um, how the Velcro in each of the curlers, if there's if it's a certain length of Velcro, they work better on the hair. And I, I think she's right. Okay, now here comes my eye. Here comes my eyeshadow. I want you to get full, full glory here. Okay, I'm going to get my brush. I'm going to use a very small brush. I'm going to be very, very precise. I'm going to go light. I think I'm going to do this. Okay. Dippity do, dippity do. I'm not looking at you guys. I'm going to do this. go very slowly in fact from here on out I'm probably I'm not going to talk then I'll narrate through the rest of the video because when I talk I can't do a good job okay the narration has begun so I'm taking my brush it's a smaller brush and I'm doing smaller strokes for my eyeshadow I am trying to go just above my eyelid bone so that when I open my eyes you can see a little bit of the eyeshadow and then I'm trying to put it up on the corner like make the stroke go up and whoops I got a little in little drop out there in the corner of my eye so I'm gonna I'm gonna clean up the fallout as I go along because sometimes I don't always see the fallout, as you guys point out to me so, <laughs> so politely. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to keep adding a little more shadow until I think I have the right amount. But I am using a lighter color. And then see, when I open my eye, you can't see it. So, and let me get that fallout again with my little, it's a very, very soft, damp cloth. So, okay, second eye. And I'm just doing baby strokes. Get a little bit of powder at a time so that I don't overdo it and I don't get big chocolate brown dark spots in my eyeshadow. And because my eyes are a little far apart, I do want to darken them really close in the center by, you know, the very edge of my eye. 
the inner corner of my eye, I should say. Okay, I'm just trying to fill that out and make it, you know, as dark, dark in the crease, I'll say. You can see I lost a fingernail. I meant to get that fixed today, but I just didn't. So I'm going to go tomorrow for a mani, for fill and pedicure. So we're, we're just about done with my eyeshadow and then I'll clean up the fallout and you know we can go back to that if I need to and I hope you think I've done a little bit better job as I'm watching myself and narrating I can see that it's still a bit dark my eyeshadow is still a bit dark but for some reason when I was in the bathroom it didn't it, applying that it did not look quite that dark so I I'm gonna lighten that up not in this video but I'll, I'll use a lighter color um, eyeshadow okay cleaning that up and as I'm cleaning the fallout I'm also wiping away a lot of that concealer so I may be applying that again all right so I'm showing you this is a, let's see, is this for my eyebrow? Yeah, this is a, a, a blonde, actually, or a light, light brown eyebrow pencil. So I'm just going to fill in part of my brow. And eventually, I do want to get my brows... Um, I say, or microderma, microplaned again. So I'm just kind of, you know, my brows are, my eyes are not even. So I'm just trying to do the best I can to even them out and to frame my eyes. Okay, I can see now, I'm, I did not do that red out of a job. I'm, I'm missing that one spot. And I could use a lighter um, eyebrow pencil. I'm just, as I'm watching myself. I'm glad I'm narrating this because I'm really getting to see up close and, <laughs> up close and personal what I'm doing. So, all right, I've got that done. And let's see what's coming up next in my repertoire of makeup okay here comes my smudge pot my eyeliner now i know that i just um what appalled several of you the last time i put my smudge pot eyeliner on so i'm going to try to do a more delicate job i wet my little brush and i'm going to be very um stingy when it comes to how much I put on the brush and how much I apply. So you can see I'm doing it much slowly, much more slower, I should, much, much more slowly, I should say. And I can't put that on while I'm uh, talking to you guys. I have to get up close to the mirror in front of me, but there. So I hope you think that looks a little better than the other day. Now the other side, and let's see if I can put this on with my holding my little mirror. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that on. Let me go up to the big mirror again and finish putting that eyeliner on. So I can tell already I'm doing a better job applying my smudge pot eyeliner there you go it looks uh, better but I am going to I, I got a little little bit of a noogie on there so I'm gonna wipe that off with my q-tip and here is a eyeliner a pencil liner I just purchased actually from Walgreens I'm going to finish that up. Okay, I think they're about even now. And let's see here. I'm going to do my 
clean up a little bit with my Q-tips a little bit more. And do a tight line. Actually, what, what I end up doing is putting that, that pencil down and getting a, a brown. I bought that one and a brown pencil. Now, I have a feeling that's a, that's a blue pencil. And then when I reali realize it, then I put it down and I get the brown one. So, here we go with the right eye. I can see I have a little goober already outside. It's not that I don't care. Need to shut down to keep you out. Getting the brown one. Strange to be here alone. Yeah. A place that we used to go all the time. I need to do this alone. So just stop calling me out. that's enough with the eyes now I'm going to use this NYX bear with me makeup spray feels so good and I believe I'm going to take a moment and just press the moisture from that bear with me spray into my makeup there you go kind of just help it stay keep that refreshing feeling going on and then I, I'm going to get my lip crayon. I love these. But I want to, before I put it on, I want to powder my lips because they're a little bit moist right now from the spray. And I want my lips to be more dry for the lipstick to stay on. So I'm going to, this powder is ready for the trash, but I'm going to just put my finger in it and dab a little bit of this powder on my lips to prime my lips for my lipstick crayon. There you go. That's always a good idea to help your lipstick stay on a bit longer. Super Stay Ink Crayon. I love these. The Super Stay Ink Crayon Lipstick is a very nice consistency. It's not too creamy. It's not too matte. And it's very easy to apply. I know sometimes like after dinner, you're in a restaurant, your lips are dry, and you want to reach in your makeup bag and pull out some type of lipstick to, to moisten your lips with. And this is, this is the perfect lipstick to do that with. Now, I really took off most of my under eye concealer when I was cleaning up the fallout from the rest of my eye makeup. So I am daubing a little more of that on and then I'm going to take my, my, my semi-wet washcloth and press that in. There you go. And I believe I'm going to try to clean up my eyeshadow. I'm putting that away, my eyeliner and getting out my little eyeshadow brush, I want to do a little bit of uh, damage control. So I, I'm just sort of going over. I, I really didn't need to do that. 
but my left eye, I do touch it up a little bit and it does turn out a little bit better. As you will see. And I really can use a lighter eye shadow. I can see that. I can see that now as I'm watching myself put my makeup on. And some of you were asking me about what kind of, what blush I was using. This is a little Revlon drugstore blush. And it does, it is quite powdery. And I'm noticing that as I put this on, I really could have um, brushed off a little more of the, of the makeup before I applied it to my face. It's interesting to watch myself do my makeup. I'm glad I'm doing this narration. So I'm trying to, you know, just make sure I don't have any demarcation, spreading that blush around, getting it even on my face. And I'm about done. I'm going to do my hair. See you in a minute. I had to turn the camera around. My lighting is getting wonky. Okay, so what do you think about my finished makeup look? Do you think it looks much any different? Um, I I don't know. <laughs> so, alrighty, you guys. This is um, this is going to be interesting. But I I can I can tell. I am going to. Um, I am going to investigate some different colors. I'm going to, what I need to do is go to a makeup, a prof, like a, a Macy's or a Bobbi Brown counter and have them work with me on colors and uh, technique. Once again, I'm, I'm just get ready with me. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not doing a tutorial, but I do think that I have, I can learn. <laughs> okay. P.S. I love you guys. Mwah. Until our next conversation. Bye-bye.